This program is suitable for most people. However, it should not replace a supervised exercise program. Please consult your local doctor before commencing an exercise program, especially if you have one or more of the following. Have had joint surgery, any medical condition affecting your heart, lungs or blood pressure, joint inflammation. You have not been doing regular exercise. Stop exercising immediately if you experience one or more of the following chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, dizziness, numbness or tingling in the arms or legs, severe pain or discomfort in your joints. The producers and distributors disclaim any liability or loss, personal or otherwise, resulting from procedures in this program. Movers or Losers is an exercise program for seniors designed to maintain an active and healthy lifestyle. Let's join instructor Claire for an aerobics workout at Lexington Gardens in Springvale. We hope you enjoy today's episode. Good morning everyone and welcome to Move It or Lose It. My name's Claire Sawatsky, I'm a personal trainer and a group fitness instructor and I'll be taking you through your exercise program today. So let's start by taking our feet a little bit wider than our hips and we just start to relax our arms around our waist from side to side. So gently soften the knees and as you feel comfortable just start to add the waist and the hips into the movement and if you feel okay you can start to lift your heel as well. Just begin softly. See if you can take your eye gaze over your shoulder and behind you to extend the movement. And now we try it a little bit more actively. So take the arms a little bit bigger and you get a bit of a whack on the back, which helps to stimulate your kidneys. So just take a few more of these. Try and breathe naturally while you do it. Four, three, and two more. Excellent, and just rest. Take the feet a little bit wider than the hips again. And this time we inhale, reach up, stretch your fingers as high as you can, lift the kneecaps. And then exhale, sit down through your tail like you're sitting in a chair, wrap the hands around your waist, give yourself a little cuddle and relax your neck. Inhale, reach up again, lift the kneecap and the back of the thighs. And then sit down, give yourself a cuddle, relax the neck. So we're really starting to open up through the side of the waist, through the arms and feel the strength of our legs. And then you should start to feel the legs and the butt working a little bit as you sit here. Let's take four more of these. Really reach up and open. Exhale to come down. So you can start to work with the breath now. It's a deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale to sit down through the tail, wrap the waist, relax the neck. One more deep breath in, reach up, exhale to release. And then gently just coming up through the center. And I'd like you to turn your left foot out to the side and then line your heel up with the inside of your right foot. And then you can just play with this and see how comfortable you feel stepping your feet out. You can take them really wide if that feels okay. And then spread your toes and press them actively down into the floor and lift up through the arches of the feet and then lift up through the kneecaps and breathe the hands out to the side. We want to keep the hips and the shoulders wrapping and facing to the side. And then we exhale, reach out nice and long. Take the hand to the leg wherever it feels comfortable. So you might just be up on the thigh, you could be down around the knee or right around the shin. And you want to take a breath in and then as you breathe out, lengthen both sides of your waist and revolve the armpits towards the ceiling. And we're just gonna breathe here for eight breaths. You can play with your head. Maybe you'd like to look down, that may feel more comfortable to you. You might look out to the front. You might even like to look up to the sky. This is a great exercise for toning our thighs and also working through our waist and helping us to lengthen our spine. Let's take two more big breaths in. And last one, big breath in. 
and gently come up through the centre. Turn the feet back to face the front and we breathe up again. Big breath in, reach high, sit down through the tail. Give yourself that little cuddle, relax the neck. So this time as we lift up, I want you to lengthen the back of your body. Come down, little cuddle. But sometimes when we think too much about lengthening the front of our body, we actually overextend and end up in a little back bend. So lift the rib cage, the armpits, reach out at the fingertips and release. We've got four more of these. I want you to really feel the difference between active and lifted and then between releasing but also working through our thighs. We've just got two more of these. Big reach up and release. And one more. And release. Excellent. Coming up to the centre and we take our leg sequence to the other side. So turn your right foot out this time. Bring the heel so it lines up with the middle of the left foot. Lift the arches and spread and press down through the feet. And then play with the exercise. If you'd like to step wider, you can. Lift the kneecap, inhale, exhale to reach. And take that hand wherever it's comfortable. And then just like the other side, play with the neck. You can look wherever you feel comfortable and see if you can take a breath in to lengthen your waist and exhale to rotate the chest a little higher. We've got four more breaths here. Big breath in. Exhale, lift the arches of the feet, lift the knees and the thighs more. And two breaths. You should really be starting to feel this in the thighs and the waist now. And then inhale gently up through the centre. Come and step your feet back into hip distance and we just release the hands around the waist one more time. So see if you can start to take the hips into this exercise. Lift the heels and hopefully you're feeling a little bit freer with your movement this time. And let's take a few more nice and active with that little bit of a whack on your back. You can really windmill up through the arms and take your whole eye gaze and your head with you. We just got four more of these. Excellent, and release. So we're gonna practice our balance now, which helps to strengthen your ankles. So bring the big toes together and the heels just slightly apart. Take a moment to lift the thighs and think of drawing in below the hip bones and just behind the belly button. So you can relax your hands here or have them at your side. We take a deep breath in and just bring the foot until it's pointed out in front of you. We're gonna to start to draw the alphabet with our toes. So A, B, and the aim here is to be really nice and light on your toe and balanced on one leg. If you're finding it hard to be balanced right now, you could have a chair next to you or even hold onto a wall or pop your hand on your lounge suite. So just work through the whole out alphabet, focusing on your posture. Sometimes when we're confused, we start to shrug up into our shoulders. Just take a moment to relax those and keep working through. And it's okay if you're confused and you forget which letter you're up to. It's good for our brain sometimes to be confused. That's when it changes. Excellent. So just check in with your posture. Maybe you're starting to relax into the knee. I want you to lift the thigh up, lift the waist, relax the shoulders and keep working. So once you've finished that side, just step the foot in, lift up through the waist, gently lengthen the other side and start again with the alphabet. Keep going with this as we go to a short break and I'll be back with you soon. Welcome back. We're heading onto the floor now to do some work to strengthen our core, which will help keep us standing up nice and tall as we grow older. So come down onto hands and knees, take the hands directly under the shoulders and the knees straight under your hips. We want to spread our fingers as wide as we can. So your goal here is to really press the floor away and flatten out your spine. So we take a deep breath in and as we breathe out, just lengthen one hand out in line with the ear and then slowly lower, breathe in, breathe out to lift the other arm. 
So you want to try and keep the shoulders still as we work through this. We're just going to take one more each side and you should start to feel a little bit of work in your belly. So try and lift the belly button for me. And now we're going to take the legs. So take a deep breath in, lengthen the front leg away. Just leave the toes on the floor. And if you feel okay, you can squeeze the butt and lift off. And slowly lower. Good, taking it to the other side. Take the toe behind, squeeze the butt and lifting off. Good, we've got one more each side. Keep lifting the belly as we work through this. So this is about conditioning your whole midsection together, the belly, the muscles of the spine, the muscles of the waist, and gently lower. Okay, staying here, we're gonna put the two together. So deep breath in, lengthen the front hand and stay there. And then if you feel okay, we take the back leg Leave it on the floor to find your balance. Squeeze the belly. And if you're feeling comfortable and you're feeling balanced, you can squeeze the butt and lift the leg off. And we're gonna stay here for five breaths. So just breathe in and breathe out. And be careful, sometimes we start to sag into our back as we get tired. So you just need to squeeze, lift the belly, lengthen out. It's like you're balancing cocktails on your lower back. And slowly release down. Good. Changing side, backhand, inhale up, stay there, take the legs away, leave the toe down as you find your balance and then lift the belly and squeeze and lengthen. And we just work through the breaths again, inhale and exhale. And start to think of lifting up between the hip bones here. So this move is really about resisting gravity and pressing the floor away. Got two more big breaths. and exhale to slowly lower. So we're going to come back to this, but just for a moment, take a rest, bring the heels back, the butt back to the heels, sorry, and release the wrists for a second. Fit. And then coming back onto the knees, come to the side of your body. We're gonna to start to tone around the hip and the pelvis, and also into the waist a little bit. So lay yourself down, top arm is long, and with the palm facing up so that you can't cheat and grab the floor. And then just lift the feet and bring them slightly in front of your body. Take a moment to check that the hips are on top of each other and that the shoulders are on top of each other. And then really lift the waist, use the hand in front for support and relax your neck. We take a deep breath in, lift the leg just to hip height and exhale to slowly lower. Good, just keep working through with this exercise in your own time. And there's a couple of options. So you can stay with this single leg lift or if you feel like you want a little bit more out of it, you can lift the leg to hip height, leave it there, really lift your waist, and then start lifting and lowering. And now you really start to feel it into the waist. So you've got to lengthen those toes away. Let's take four more of these. Excellent, and gently release. Bring both feet down. So the next exercise continues around the waist, but you really start to feel this into the butt. So inhale, lift the leg to hip height, and then exhale to gently start to draw a circle. And what you wanna notice here is what the hips are doing. For some people, you may notice that your hips are really rocking backwards and forwards, and you need to draw the belly in, lift the waist from the floor, and that will help you control this. So it's okay as you start to feel it around here, that's really working the smaller muscles, muscles of your butt that help to stabilize your pelvis. We'll take four more of these. And then just gently release and stop. And we just do them in the other direction. So big breath in and start to circle. And now you can start to take that foot behind the bottom leg and you'll feel that in your butt. That's it. We just take four more of them. And then gently rest, draw the toe up. If you've got a towel or something nearby that you can grab, you can wrap it around your ankle and hold on to that. Or if you can reach all the way, you can grab your ankle and have a little bit of a stretch here and just release it. Excellent, so gently as you feel ready, we make it towards the other side, so come up to a seated position. And just changing sides. Lengthen your body out, turn the palm up. 
So it's really important that that palm's up. If it's down, sometimes you'll find yourself gripping and that takes the work out of the waist and into the palm. Bring the feet slightly in front again. Take a nice deep breath in, lift the weight. Hand there for support and we just breathe up to hip height and gently lower. So really think about stretching your legs out here as long as you can. It's like somebody's got your toenail and they're pulling it in the opposite direction. So you're welcome to stay with this exercise, but if you feel like you'd like to do a little bit more, you can lift a hip height and start to squeeze the bottom leg to the top leg. And it's really about the knees and the thighs here. Squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze the knees to each other and keep lifting your waist from the floor. We've got four more. And gently release, starting to draw that circle forward. So again, remember that this was about the control of the hips. It's like you're in a girdle, you just cannot move those hips. And take four more big ones for me. Should be really starting to feel this into the back of the butt now. And gently release, taking it the other direction. So just play with the size of these circles. If you need to make your circle, sm circle smaller to keep the hips controlled, you can. See if you can go bigger and keep those pelvis under control. So two more big ones. And gently release, bring the toe and the heel up to the butt, hold the toe and take a little bit of a stretch. Okay, as you feel ready, we're going to make it back up onto our knees now, taking those hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. Gently take a breath in, lift the back arm and the front leg. Hold it there for four breaths. And then gently changing sides. So we're heading into a short break now and I'd like you to just continue doing this exercise on both sides and we'll be back with you soon. Welcome back. We're going to take some twists now to bring some mobility and movement into your spine and then we're going to stretch to finish off. So just bring one knee bent in front of you and then the other one bent out to the side. Take a deep breath in, lengthen up through the waist and just take the right hand to the left knee. The left hand behind you, breathe in to sit as tall as you can and then exhale to gently just twist from the shoulders. So you want to feel the back of the shoulders start to relax. Sometimes when we twist, we want to force it so much that we actually get less out of our stretch than we can. So just relax, breathe a little taller, and then exhale to twist a little bit further. Gently coming through the middle, just bring the fingertips out in front of you. And we start to walk the fingertips as far as we can, but keeping the waist and our spine nice and long. And just notice your butt. You might find that your butt wants to really lift and tilt off the floor. See if you can press both sides back and then press into the fingertips to lift out of the chest. And you'll start to feel this releasing in your groin and your pelvis. And then if you're feeling comfortable, we gently walk ourselves over to the other side. Same thing, stay on the fingertips and this time you may really notice that hip starting to lift, so just really press the tail down, press through the fingertips, inhale, lift the chest. And gently walking up through the centre to release. Bring the feet out in front of you a little bit wider than your hips. So you've got a few options here, you can stay here with the legs really long. If you feel like you're having to tilt forward a little bit, you can bend the knees and that will help you keep your spine straight. And you can even find a cushion or a blanket and pop it under your tail. So we want to inhale, lift the waist as tall as we can. And then as we exhale, leave the heels and the knees where they are and just revolve through the shoulders to the side. So inhale through the centre, sit as tall as you can and exhale to revolve to the other side. So this time as we do it, I want you to really look at your feet and make sure they stay in the same spot and so do the knees. We call this scissoring in the legs and you'll feel the hips rocking around as you do it. 
So gently revolve. And one more to the other side, deep breath in. And exhale to revolve. We continue with the same exercise, inhale up, but this time we take our little finger and we slice it towards our opposite little toe. Inhale up to lift and exhale, little finger slice to the opposite toe. And you can start to look to the back hand as you do this. And just see if you can reach a little bit further each time. So it's more about the revolve of the shoulders first and then reach to the little toe. One more each side, really lift up nice and tall. Excellent, and releasing down. So we take the other leg in front this time. Right foot out to the side. Have a little adjust so that the hips are down. And we take a nice deep breath in, lift up through it, left hand to the right knee, right hand behind. And you can sort of cup your right hand to the floor and push the floor away and that will help to activate up through the bicep. So take a deep breath in, rise. And as you exhale, just take the shoulders around. Relax those shoulders down away from the ears and search a little further with the eyes. And just think about letting go with the back of the body. So sometimes we find that we want to grab and sort of wedge on the leg. Don't worry about that, just let the fingers be comfortable and let the work come through the shoulders. Gently inhale up through the centre, fingertips to the floor, reaching forward. And then we press the fingertips away, press the tail down and just breathe here and you can relax. Start to walk it out to the side. Take the same exercise, just breathing. And every time you breathe, see if you can notice the spine getting a little bit longer. And every time you exhale, see if you can notice the tail coming a little closer to the floor. We take two more breaths here. And then we gently come up through the centre. And I'd just like you to sit however feels comfortable for you. So you might like to be cross-legged. You can even take the heels away or lengthen out. We're just going to take a few stretches to open and release the upper body. So nice deep breath in. Bring the little fingers together in front of you. Palms facing up and then exhale. Pull the thumbs back in line with the armpits. Really open the chest. So inhale, thumbs back together. Exhale, thumbs back. Open the chest. Good, two more. See if you can stretch a little bit further each time. And then releasing, just take one hand across the body, holding the upper arm or the elbow as you feel comfortable and gently draw it in. And just notice, sometimes our shoulders really want to struggle up here. Just relax down. And then reach that hand up overhead. Take it to the middle of the forehead, or the middle of the back of the head, wherever you feel comfortable. And see if you can start to creep it down the spine. And then if you feel really comfortable, you can hold the arm and just give it a little bit of help there. And gently releasing, changing side. Take it across your body so you can hold the forearm. You can hold the upper arm. Just relax that shoulder away. That's it. Just breathe naturally. Then reaching up really high, take the fingertips to the middle of the head, creep it down. And you can play with this. If you want to pop the hand there and give it a little bit of help, you can. Just breathe. And then gently relaxing, we bring the palms together in front of our chest. We take the top palm up, bottom palm down, and we gently press those palms behind and you really feel this open across the whole front of your body. Inhale to bring the palms together, changing, and exhale to open. Let's take four more of these, working in your own time. Excellent work. Exhale to open. And two more, change, open it up. And the last one. And just releasing down. 
Thanks for watching Move It or Lose It. That's all we've got time for today. We'll see you again soon.